تميز As we said, it's an honor for us. These legends accept the mayors. It's the big prize of the day. It's the last prize. I would like to invite to the stage Professor Wendy Pollan to introduce the lifetime achievement for this year and to Barbara Howell to join us on the stage. Thank you, Ahmed. Um, I think this morning we've seen many prizes given to students and, and young architects, and in many ways that's as it should be at this point. But I think it's also very, very important to remember people who are near the end of their careers. Um, and to be able to mark extremely eminent and important contributions um, that have been made over decades to, to building um, parts of countries, parts of cities, uh, and developing architectural education. Uh, one of the, the interesting things about what we've been seeing this morning is, is how much education and practice actually have been working together and that's of course a very very important thing. Um, I was struck by the comment made by Rifat Chatterjee that architecture is an undervalued um, art in, in Arab culture. It's interesting because if you look at the traditional understanding of Islam, um, calligraphy is considered the first art and architecture the second. Um, I think the Tamayus Awards are helping us remember that and going back to the, really, the significance of architecture within the culture. So could I invite Hishim Munir to, to please come up and join us because I think I'd like to, to talk to you directly. so much for coming up to join us, but I really wanted to talk to you directly with this. Um, I am very, very pleased and delighted to present the, the Tamayu's Lifetime Achievement Award of, of 2017. Um, th this is in recognition of a lasting contribution to architecture in Iraq. As a celebrated pra practitioner, a mentor to generations of aspiring architects, and for his role in the establishment of the Baghdad School of Architecture. Now, that's the official citation. I just want to add a few words to this, because I, I think it's important that everybody here who's not familiar with Hisham's work knows um, a little bit more about, about what he has done. Um, he was the founder of Hisham Matar Associates, this, this is an internationally respected, renowned, and multi-prize winning architectural practice. Um, they've done many works in public buildings um, with a particular emphasis on public service. Um, I'm not going to list all, all of the, the rather important buildings in Iraq that have been produced by this office, but I think one of the things that is certainly worth um, noting is that he worked very, very closely with the, the Ar Architects Collaborative on the University of Baghdad. And because this is a day that we're certainly celebrating the University of Baghdad, I think very, very fitting and important um, that, that we make th this award. Um, so Hisham really is, is a pioneer of modern architecture in Iraq. Um, and one of the leading f firms in the whole region. 
His work has been representative of much of Iraq's modern history. Um, it's a pleasure to award him this prize now in 2017. and colleagues, it's truly great honor to receive the mayors as a lifetime achievement which I humbly accept. To me, this is the crowning achievement of many awards I have received during my 40 years of career. Because this one is, has awarded the, to promote and honor both professional and academic achievement, which are, this is the unique. As many of you know, my office has won more first prize architectural competition award than any other office in Iraq. We have even won several competitions twice. Only in Iraq, we would win and they would change the judge and the criteria and we win again. <laughs> We were entrusted with some of the most important buildings and institutions in our great country. However, the, the greatest joy of my entire career was co-founder, first department of architecture in Iraq, getting the privilege to teach, mentor, and groom some of you here. Humor me to take, to take you on a small walk down memory lane. Upon my return in Iraq, to Iraq in 1957, I started to inquire why there was no Department of Architecture? One of the great individuals with, with whom we have discussed this topic was Dr. Naji Abdel Qadir. Then, two years forward, Dr. Naji became the Dean of the College of Engineering. I still fondly remember the day I got a call from Dr. Naji. He took, then uh, uh, inviting me to join him in his office to pursue the idea of establishing the Department of Architecture. In office, in his office. I met for the first time the Abdullah Hassan Kamil and Dr. Muhammad Makia. So the three of us worked to, to co-found the first department of architecture in Iraq. I took responsibility of building the curriculum. I remember borrowing good 
a good bit of my University of Texas uh, Austin curriculum. I would create a curriculum for the first year, start teaching it, and then work on building the curriculum for the following year. My children always remind me that I should be better a marketer. They always say, Baba, you have built and done more than all of your colleagues contemporaries, yet they write as, as if they accomplish more. It is true that I had, when I had a pen in my hand, I'm more comfortable sketching than writing. They used to say, those who can't do, teach. Well, I disagree. I am an example. Those who taught and did. However, I recently have been active uh, I teach, sorry. Well, I disagree. I'm an example of one, of one of those taught and did. My mistake is not to have written and mem memorized this chapter in history. However, recently I have been more active with the like of Columbia University, Harvard, and MIT. I have been interested in my, they have been interested in my work as well I would like to announce that I have begun writing my memoirs and I look forward to sharing them with you. I'm proud that my work and success transcended five governments and revolution. However, the one constant throughout my career was always making the training and monitoring the next generation a top priority. Investing in the next generation is one of the most important decisions everyone can take. Then I review my, many of your work in Iraq when I review your many work in Iraq and all over the world, I feel so proud to know that I was part of sowing the seed of these most precious crops. It's the greatest feeling of accomplishment. I want to take this opportunity to thank Ahmed and Coventry University for their great work enhancing the opportunity for Iraqi architects. Finally, I dedicate this award to my wife. <laughs> I dedicate this award to my, to my wife, Tissam. Tissam, she, is, she has been... <laughs> she has been on my side throughout this wonderful journey. <laughs> She's my inspiration, my partnership, and my rock. Thank you again. I'm grateful. I am humble, and I am honored.
Otherwise, congratulations not for you, it's for us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for being here with us. Thank you for all the achievements you have done in Iraq. You know, in Iraq, we still have public service because the buildings, <coughs> legends like Stav Munir built, and still stands after 40 years without any maintenance. Thank you very much for being with us.